This example shows how to change the database connection in a Microsoft Excel um, file from a, which is connected to a access database um, to, a, to another database. So this happens sometimes if you uh, roll out an Excel sheet and when you are located like in this example like uh, this map one is connected at a rollout time to the database one and in another company the uh, the path to this uh, file is totally different <coughs> so i will show you now the inside the database one we have a table or excel or a query which has the results uh, of here let's say manufacturers uh, it's a chevy uh, of cars chevy one 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 and inside the other one there's uh, this uh, similar stuff but other uh, types in I dis, uh, added here the string 2 in this car and this example now when we are in the in our uh, Excel file uh, I added the uh, the database the database here from as an OLE DB connection and so it's inside here and here and there our uh, ribbon bar we have to refresh all and now the database is connected in this case to the second as we see to the second uh, path when I open that point uh, where are my queries <coughs> uh, bam, bam, bam. where's my query refresh now it's running and my queries here this uh, it's not in the uh, on the connections it's under queries and that's the uh, main point what we will what we will see now quite soon inside there you may this is the power query on the right side from uh, Microsoft Excel and we have here and the properties we will see that it's connected to with OLEDB uh, so this is uh, most stable stuff what uh, Microsoft uh, recommends as a connection and inside here is the table or uh, the select command to the uh, in this case uh, it's a query inside the uh, prepared data uh, query from the database uh, so it's like a front end and <coughs> inside uh, the first point you will see that's the called the data source is in workbook uh, with the dollar signs uh, written and now when I want to change from uh, from this database to that one then we have to do the following uh, the stuff is inside <coughs> when I've I made a small macro in there and inside the macro when I uh, push alt alt f11 and we come to I've prepared a small macro there this stuff is written in the queries inside that point uh, of, of this file now when we go there <coughs> for example when I push when I say okay change uh, run do, through the queries those queries which we see there when I say uh, change something then you will see um, this is the query uh, sh make a quick watch to that point and I said okay uh, run to uh, uh, dimension a query as a workbook query and then run through all queries which are in our uh, in this current workbook then we will see the first query this workbook query one this is the query one we will see that's there's a formula and inside the formula we you will see it's written there um, it's an access database and there's the file contents and now there is the big um, the big path to that block so I already in experimented there now inside there is written as when you see there the path is database two access database and now I will say okay <coughs> if I want to change this point then I have to replace this path to another path inside at the moment we have 
written there um, we had there the here let's make this one <coughs> I said okay run through that point and now uh, give me write everything into this formula string and then we say replace uh, replace db2 by db1 for example so it's a simple example replace that point uh, into from uh, this formula to the other formula string and then um, save that point into the uh, property of this query again now going through and <coughs> when we watch now our results we will see it's still at 2 but uh, so this is the second uh, second one and now when I refresh it uh, with the right mouse key context we will see their refresh or we go here to free refresh all now when I refresh it the values will change to the other database so what we did now we changed the connection from the uh, rollout database to a local database for example 